Hi, I'm Claudia and I'm here to show you an overview on ID Survey system. ID Survey is a server-based software for data collection via telephone, web and face-to-face. -face. Let's start with the login. This is ID Survey homepage. You can find last surveys created, some information on your licenses, some short links, and then here on the bottom, some information on three last service statistics. Now we're going on one of the main section of the survey menu, which is surveys, where you can find the list of all the surveys created inside your platform. In the line of the surveys, you can find the survey title, the survey number, and then some icon which represents the survey menu. These icons you can find everywhere inside the system. This is the questionnaire builder, the section where you create your questionnaire. The questionnaire is organized by pages and in this first box you find all the pages of your questionnaire. In the second box you find the uh, overview of the page that you selected. To add a new page you just click on the plus button and you select the type of question that you want to add in your page from the templates that you find in here. Let's add a multiple choice, for example. The system will automatically create a new page with the question you selected. To change the text of the answer, you click on this button and again, you change the text. To add a new answer, I click on the End Answer button. And if I want to change the type of the answer, I click on the gear wheel button, which contains the settings of each object. Now, in this case, it's the answer, but the same works for pages and questions. And inside this button, I can find, for example, the type of the answer that I can change to mono-exclusive, for example, and other settings more advanced that we'll see later on. Everything that I can do with the graphical interface, I can do with the scripting code. I can enter the scripting code clicking on the uh, button ID code that I found in the page. And in this case, I just see the code of the single page. Or I can click in the gear wheel button of the pages box and then on ID code display script to enter the entire script of all the questionnaire. That means that any editing that I do with the graphical interface is done also with the scripting page and vice versa. This is really fast and really easy for familiar users, but also for beginners. Obviously, you can create different types of questions. Let's try to create a grid, for example. Again, I select my template from this list and the system automatically creates a new page with a new question. In a page, you can create as many questions, as many answer options as you want. There's no limitation in the number of pages that you can insert into your questionnaire, in the number of questions, in the number of answers, or in type of questions and answers. If I click on this button, I can change the order of my rows and columns, just dragging them and dropping them into the desired position. Let's see now another section of the survey menu, which is survey settings. Once you've created your questionnaire, you can go to the survey settings. Here on the left, you find general settings. Clicking on this button, you can enable different modules, telephone, web, face-to-face. -face. That means that you can create your questionnaire once and then you can activate one, two or all three of the modules to have mixed mode. In the main part of the page, you find tabs of the different modules. Each tab contains specific settings of that module. So on CATI, you find specific settings of telephone surveys. In Kawi tab, you can again customize your text and you can also customize graphic of your, of your surveys with the templates. Here on the survey menu, you have other two sections. 
The first one is management. In here, you find buttons to manage contacts, interviewers, and quotas. The last one is the tools. To export all the data that you collected during your surveys, the open-end encoder to encode your open-end questions, or the appointments management to manage the appointments scheduled by the interviewers. The last button that you find in here is the quick links. With the click links, you can enter live information on your surveys, uh, like survey activity, interviewers' activity, and frequencies. And we'll see that in a moment. First type of real-time statistics that you can check is the survey activity. In the survey activity, you see some information on the complete interviews, total to callbacks, and other type of outcomes, both in numbers, percentage, and graph. Second type of statistics are interviewers' activity. In here, you'll see the list of all the interviewers associated to the survey, and for each one of them, you can click on details and see specific statistics on their work. Last type of statistics are frequencies. In frequencies, you can check the frequency of answer for each question, both in number, percentage, and graph. You can export current display of each one of the question or all the question display. You can also save any graph clicking on this button and selecting the different format. Enabling advanced st statistics, you can do crossing between two questions or between a question and a variables of the contact database. Also, this sort of information can be exported into an Excel file. Another great characteristic of ID Survey is efficient and professional support that can guide you step by step into the creation of your survey and questionnaire. You can contact our support staff in any moment to ask for help in any step of your surveys. Thanks for watching. Bye.